and no doubt it's been a rough few days for the city of Fort Worth and those who live there. And as those clips were playing, we were all watching yeah. this man's reaction and his expressions. Yeah, Chief Noakes has been with the Fort Worth Police Department. Uh, nice enough to join us this morning. We appreciate you being here. And the first thing that sticks out to me, you know, we were watching yesterday that news conference live in the Diamond Hill neighborhood. You were speaking, though, about the Como incident. And the one thing that I think struck all of us here was the emotion in your voice, the frustration, at the lack of people coming forward, helping you guys find leads. Yes, and first of all, Burke and Keith, thank you for having us on to talk about this today. It's a very important issue for all of Fort Worth. Um, we know that we're not going to be able to solve crimes on our own. We have to have the community's help. We know we've got to have people that are willing to step forward and speak up. And for all those who have seen the video, that surveillance video shows hundreds of people, maybe a thousand or more people there. I could count on one hand the number who've actually come up and said they want to assist. We have some incredible homicide detectives. These investigators are doing incredible work. Our analysts, uh, real-time crime center, those who are looking at video. But we can only do so much. There are people there who know what happened, know who did it, and know where we can find them, and we need them to please step up. It can be done anonymously. Anyone that goes to our website can look at Crime Stoppers or, or iWatch, ways to anonymously report who did this and help us bring these people to justice. Um, Chief Noakes, you're asking for help from the public. Absolutely. The community is asking for help from you. Yes, sir. And your department. What can you do as the Fort Worth Police Chief to help make sure situations like Como and like the situation in the Diamond Hill neighborhood do not keep happening? There are three main things we're focusing on in the Fort Worth Police Department. It's safety, wellness, and resiliency. We want safe, healthy, resilient communities across all of Fort Worth. To do that, we have to have a safe, healthy, resilient department to make sure we get it done. So my job is to make sure we're doing everything we can to provide the resources and support to make sure people are safe. But we know it takes a collaboration. It takes all of us. What a lot of people, I believe, see as policing issues or societal issues. It's things we all have to come around the table and talk about, find solutions, see what's working across the country, implement those things here, and do it in such a way that not only are we making people safe, we're making them feel safe as well. You know, and, and one of the things that I, I think is important to talk about, and it, it just strikes me as somebody who has been, uh, I've covered a lot of these sorts of shootings, unfortunately, throughout the course of my career. And, you know, you talk about how there were thousands of witnesses, and, you know, you can count on one hand the number of people who came forward. To me, I think a part of that is that there is some hesitation, and there's not always the best of relationships between police and particularly the black community. Um, how do you begin to heal that? How, how, how do you get past what feels like an impasse in a way? Because I do think that's probably part of the reason why there are a lack of people coming forward. There's a, a lack of trust. Well, I, I think you're right. There are, there are multiple issues that contribute to that lack of communication and collaboration. I think one, quite honestly, is fear. The people who maybe witnessed it don't want to come forward because they fear retaliation from the people involved. That's legitimate. That's why we have anonymous ways to report the crime. When it comes to our relationship with the community, we'll, we'll be the first to say we have work to do. What I hope people will also recognize is the work we've already done. The work that's been happening in communities like Lake Como and communities across the city where we do not have the best relationships. We are out there consistently, day after day, doing what we can to build those relationships repair bridges that may have come down and build new ones in areas where we may not have them already. We are committed to community policing. We're committed to the community. And I believe the work we're doing as we continue forward will only help strengthen those relationships with the community. So Chief Noakes, you're saying you're committed to the uh, African American community. You're committed to the greater Fort Worth community. The United States is one community. At least it should be. Agreed. When I watch every national program, they talk about the violence that has occurred leading into the July 4th holiday and extended past the July 4th holiday. And we're talking about Baltimore. We're talking about Wichita, Kansas. We're talking about Philadelphia. But you know where the focus is right now? North Texas, 
in the city of Fort Worth? What is your purest emotion knowing that your city is at the center of something that has dominated the country's headlines? My heart's broken. My heart is absolutely broken and I'm, I'm angry because there's never a time where mass shooting and the city of Fort Worth should be used in the same sentence. It just should not happen when we're compared to cities across the country that are ravaged by violent crime. I take it personally. We always say not to take things personally in policing. I take this personally. We have officers out there across all communities who are taking it personally as well. We have a moral obligation to do everything that we possibly can to make sure our citizens are safe regardless of what zip code they're in, regardless of what they look like, regardless of any differences. Everyone deserves to feel safe in the city of Fort Worth. We really appreciate you being here. I think the candid conversation helps. I think it helps. And Chief Noakes, if, if nothing else, I know people can feel it through that lens. We can feel it as we sit just feet away from you. We can feel your emotion. Matter of fact, I can see the tears in your eyes. I can too. Because I know this is personal for you. This is personal for the residents of Fort Worth. This is personal for the community in North Texas. This is personal for everyone. Yep. We want to speak to you again. I know we're going to talk to you again in the 6.30 half hour, but we just want to thank you for being willing to come into our studio to answer our questions, knowing this is a difficult time. And as much as we pride ourselves as journalists right. on asking hard questions, I know how hard you have to be taking this. And for you to come in here this morning means an awful lot and shows a lot about your character and your commitment. Thank you both.